Hey guys, welcome to Wiener Fest. Hey guys, what's up? So today we're doing another little install on the sled. We got an adjustable brake lever from 3D Logic, or made by 3D Logic from Sled Solutions. And I've been hoping to get one of these for a while now, and I finally broke down and got one. So, but a little overview: this is not heated, so this is a non-heated handle. I didn't want to spend the money on a heated one for like the skins or the TKI, just super stupid expensive in my opinion. But this is a good one, I feel like. Feels like this is all aluminum down here and this is a plastic handle, so it shouldn't suck any like heat out of your finger while you're riding. So that's a plus. And this is also a breakaway design. So what that means is this actually can go forward. So yeah. That. So if you ever like land and push the slide forward, you won't bust your knuckles. So more on that later. Riley, are you just as excited as I am? Ooh. She's excited. She likes it. She wants it. So I don't know how this comes apart. So this will be new to me. But I think it's gonna be as simple as taking this out, taking it off, and swapping it over to the new handle. So let's get at it. Ten mil and a quarter inch. And I think it should stay pretty much righty tighty lefty loosey. Spin, spin, spin away. It's the nut. So hopefully this just pushes straight up and out. There, not simple. All we got is a lock nut and a shoulder bolt. Went through there, and now we just gotta send over the parking brake to the new handle. And it looks like that is just a circle clip. We'll pop that off, and this is going to be under spring tension. So we just have to make sure we get that clipped in there and in there. Get a small screwdriver. Just pop it out. There's the clip. Really small bastard. Here's the clip. And this should just slide out the top, but the spring's going to snap come off with it so there's a spring this one has actually a hole in it where it goes instead of a uh, little like notch to set in place there's a right and a wrong way to the spring apparently I don't know which way is which so I'm gonna take this apart for you guys because I like you guys so much but the spring the part has a 90 on it that one's like straight and then this one comes out and then bends. That goes into the handle. So what I did is I put that in the handle and I lined up that tab in this little hole here. And a little notch there or whatever. Yeah, kinda, kinda play around with it to get everything lined up. There we go. And put our circle clip on. Make sure you don't lose that little guy. There we go. So now we got a another working parking brake. I'm not sure if she actually wants to be here with me or if she's just looking at shiny things in the garage. So this is something small, but this feels really beefy compared to this. This is just a plastic handle. And, I mean, this is pretty much is too, but. Other than, you know, it's up here, but I did not think that it would weigh that much, but at least you know it's built heavy, so. Hmm. It's kind of set in its place there. Shoulder bolt from the top. If I can get it lined up. I'm going to have to push it over. That's not fun. There you have it. That's how you install the adjustable brake lever. This is only M1. So far, I like it. Feels built. Feel like it's built really well. I like the breakaway feature. I won't bust my knuckles no more. If you have small hands. Oh, I feel like this is definitely a solid upgrade. I've only ridden a couple of suds that have an adjustable brake lever, and I love it. So I think it's definitely worth the investment if you're an aggressive rider or got 
small hands and have a hard time reaching the brake. So this is a 3D Logic again. It was $100 after shipping and taxes on Sled Solution. So I think it's a pretty good investment, especially when, you know, I could probably take this off and put on the next 30 years of skidoos probably. So <laughs> anyway, that's the install. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you want to see more videos about it. So far, I'm liking it. 10 out of 10. So, all right, guys. Thanks for stopping in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, until next time.